Hello, my name is John Burns from Final Cut Pro Classes in New York City, and today I would like to show you how to keyframe motion in your video clips. Um, I have a clip in the timeline here of Lewis, and I'm going to uh, zoom in on him. Right now I'm going to turn off my skimmer so we only have one playhead to look at. So if I drag through this clip, I can see it's about a medium shot. And I want to zoom in while he's talking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my playhead at the first frame of the clip. Actually, first I have to highlight the clip there, put my playhead on the first frame. And I see this film strip, which tells me I'm on the very beginning of the sequence. And then I'm going to turn on my transform tool, and you can see this bounding box goes around your video frame. I want to see a little more of my a bounding box so I can control it a little better. So I'm going to size down my viewer window down to about 25 percent and that'll give me a, a clearer view of the bounding box and where my frame actually is. So if I want to zoom in on this shot I basically want it to start the way it is now at uh, full frame and if I wanted to remember this I'm going to hit this uh, keyframe button here. You can also do this in the inspector. If I open the inspector up uh, this keyframe here actually controls and keyframes everything in the transform section of your inspector. So when I hit this keyframe, basically it's remembering where all these uh, controls are and their positions and um, and I can still adjust them as long as I don't move the playhead. But we're, as soon as I move the playhead, I'll generate new keyframes. So now that I've keyframed where I want it to start here, all you have to do is you have to move the playhead to somewhere else and you can just do it strictly in the transform tool. You can uh, pull these corner boxes in the transform tool and that is actually scale. And You can see the scale slider moves in the inspector also. And now because he's out of frame, uh, I cut off his head, I want to drag him down and that's center point. And you can do that just by dragging anywhere inside this frame and drag him um, you know, where you need him. And you can see that little pathway that develops telling you what it's going to do. And to just do something extra, I might want to rotate it. I can grab this little bar here and give it a little rotation right there. So I've done three things. I've done scale and the center point and rotation. So if I drag through this, I should see the movement from full frame. And there it is zooming up and rotating and changing the center point. So now what I'd like to do is hold this position and then zoom down. When you, right now if you just move the playhead and you change the uh, controls, you're basically creating keyframes um, for every position that you do. So now it's going to go up and then it's going to go down. So now it goes up and then it goes down. But if you want something to hold, you have to manually hit a keyframe. Like if I wanted to hold here and then zoom up again, I would move the playhead to where I want it, hit the keyframe manually so it keyframes the position of all the controls. And basically when you do that, it takes all the um, values from the keyframes to the left. So then all I have to do without changing everything, I move my playhead to wherever I want and then I can uh, further keyframe it. So now I'm pulling it out with scale again. I'm pulling the center point down and I'm going to rotate it uh, a little bit the other way. And that's exactly what that's going to do. So it's going to hold between those two keyframes and then do the, uh, the zoom up again. So it's basically pretty easy to keyframe um, your video clips and pictures. Now the thing is with keyframes, if you want things to happen slower or faster, you either have to move the keyframes closer together um, to make things go faster or move them further apart to make the move go slower. If I wanted to adjust the timing of this move without having to remake all the keyframes, what I can do is I can, with the clip highlight, I can go to clip and say show video animation. And that's going to bring up the video animation bar here. And you can see these little dots here in the transform. These are your keyframes um, for what you generated uh, when you were moving the picture around. So here we have the very first keyframe, which tells it to be at full frame. 
Okay, now if I didn't want it to start zooming in till here, say, I can take this keyframe and drag it over. So now you're, you're basically dragging all the keyframes on that frame um, in the transform. So you're dragging over the rotation, the center point, the scale, the anchor. So now when I move the playhead back, nothing moves and it doesn't start moving until I get to this keyframe. And now it starts going up to this keyframe here. So this keyframe, set of keyframes tells it to be at this position at this point in time. If I want that to happen faster, I would take this set of keyframes and move them closer to the other one. So now, because the playhead is always running at the same rate, um, it's really determined the speed by when the playhead gets to that keyframe. So if I play this now, it's going to happen really a lot faster. And the same goes for all these keyframes. So now, <clears throat> as I go through these keyframes here, I have the keyframes that I made that tells it to, to stay in one place between these two keyframes. So if I want it to stay in one place longer, I can move this keyframe back. So now it's going to stay in place between these two a, a longer time. But now, of course, the move from here to here happens faster. So basically that's how you, you create keyframes in a clip and you adjust them. If you want to adjust a keyframe uh, without creating another one, like let, let's say that I'm, I'm here and, I, and, I, and I'm just uh, messing around and I pull the scale bar, it creates a keyframe right there. You can see it pop up. So anything you touch, once you create the first keyframe and you change the control, it's going to create um, more keyframes for you. So you have to be careful about that. So if I didn't want this keyframe um, here, I could delete it, I could highlight and delete it. Now if you want to, and that's with my delete key, and if you wanted to adjust the keyframe, you just have to be right on it. So if you don't want to create a new keyframe, you can get on the keyframe and then make whatever adjustments you need, and it won't create a new keyframe, but will adjust just the value of that keyframe that you have already. So I hope that clears up uh, keyframing your video clips a little bit, and uh, it's really easier than you think. And um, I hope to be back with some more tutorials soon. Thank you.